We're following news out of Cumberland County. A group of parents is suing the Cumberland Valley School District for making masks optional. Kayla Schmidt joins us with our top story. Kayla. Ladies, the lawsuit is a claim under the American with Disabilities Act and the Rehabilitation Act. The parents named John Doe and Jane Doe in the lawsuit claim their kids can't attend school in person if other students aren't masked. This is a class action brought by the parents of several different children, all of whom have a disability or claim to have a disability. Michael Domino, professor of law at Widener University, says some students are protected under the Americans with Disabilities Act. But the biggest question, whether it is a reasonable accommodation of these children's disabilities. Meaning, are the individual cases strong enough for the district to force masks on everyone else? And what the court is going to have to decide is whether that kind of policy is a reasonable accommodation. Does the district think the lawsuit is a reasonable request? We reached out to Cumberland Valley Monday. It responded with a statement. We are aware of the lawsuit that was recently filed against the district. As requested by our district solicitor, we do not comment on matters of pending litigation. Feels like we're jumping out of a plane. We have a parachute just as the parachute is leveling us off. We cut the strings. Hoisterman, a parent and local pediatrician, is disappointed with the district's decision. The latest in a number of reversals on masking policies across the state, but it proves there are parents who still want masks on. Not just to protect ourselves, but also to protect those kids that you know, maybe not able to wear the mask. Now, attorney Michael Domino says the potential outcomes in this lawsuit is if the federal court will do anything with it or just dismiss it. You can stay with ABC 27 News for updates. In the studio, Kayla Schmidt, ABC 27 News.